This week, Worldwide Media reported how Facebook deleted a group called Third Intifada, whose web page included violent incitement such as, Judgment Day will be brought upon us only once the Muslims have killed all of the Jews, and the classic Palestinian call to martyrdom, Paradise beckons you. Here's how Facebook executives described their decision. The Third Intifada began as a call for peaceful protest, but deteriorated to direct calls for violence. Is it true that the Third Intifada was a call for peaceful protest? The page openly urged Palestinians to take to the streets and begin an uprising. Exactly what type of peaceful protest did Facebook expect? Are the folks at Facebook too young to remember the two previous intifadas with the tens of thousands of wounded and staggering death toll? Have the folks at Facebook forgotten the deadly suicide bombings at Sbarro's, the Passover massacre, and bus at after bus, after bus. Has Facebook never heard of the Ramallah lynching? Marla Bennett's murder at the Hebrew University cafeteria? The slaughter of Dr. Applebaum and his daughter the night before her wedding? And the horrific stoning of Kobe Mandel? Are the folks at Facebook unfamiliar with the untold number of Palestinians brutally slaughtered during the Intifada at the hands of other Palestinians? Are they unaware of how previous Intifadas caused crippling economic damage to both Israel and the Palestinians? Have we forgotten the heart-rending scenes of Israelis burying their dead, and the tragic turning of Palestinian children into bloodthirsty warriors? This is the reality we are facing with a third intifada. Yes, the third intifada Facebook page is down, proving that well-intentioned activism really does make a difference. But this fight is not over. Palestinian groups still have dozens of Facebook pages calling for violence against Israel and the killing of Jews. Even free speech has its limits. Just as it is immoral to yell fire in a crowded movie theater, so too it is immoral to promote an intifada, any intifada on Facebook. One day, the world will look back at who did and who did not take a stand against this dangerous call to violence. Which side are you on?